whilst elsewhere, Grimly's... Grimly is here. Excellent. <laughs> I'll beat every single God's damned prejudice out of that bearded, drunk's alcohol-soaked carcass. And some of these undead wannabes lying around here in their graves are going to help me. Let's see how that drunken idiot likes facing a few brain-hungry zombies. Ah, not that he needs to be afraid with that little bird brain of his. Taya? Are you sure you don't want to reconsider? Undead? How low have we sunk? Ugh. Are you still there? I thought I'd finally seen the last of you in the previous mission. Anyway, shut up and let me work. I must raise the living dead. So in order to start the Night of the Living Dead, our protagonist, the currently eating a chicken leg evil's envoy, had to reach the region's larger cemeteries and recruit their undead. Uh-oh, a spider nest has been unearthed. One of the Lucky Evil's little snots had discovered a hidden Arcanium. Here, demons could create valuable mana, which on the one hand, they themselves needed, while on the other, could also be used for powerful spells. And so it was that the first demon began to generate powerful mana in the Arcanium. Ah, delicious mana. I like to spread it on my Sunday morning croissant as my wife passes me a cup of tea and massages my feet as I open the newspaper to the obituaries. <laughs> but back to the subject. Manor was also important to the couldn't care less about Sunday morning croissants evil because, on the one hand, his higher level demons love the stuff and on the other hand, it could be used to cast powerful spells. Of course, the excited evil couldn't wait to promptly try it out. Pointy eared witch is sneaking around here somewhere. Let's go, men. Double the watches and leave something for me. <laughs> oh. Ah, you have no chance against me and the ultimate evil. I can smell your beer breath all the way down into my dungeon, you drunken shrimp. Spread out and find her! The presence of the inconspicuous as a rainbow-coloured dog evil's army was no longer a secret. In fact, it was amazing it had escaped the warriors of good for so long. Well, their leader was a dwarf and he had lots of beer, but I digress. Hopefully the dungeon's defences are ready. Dungeon Heart is under attack. There are enemies in your dungeon. Cannot 
Payday. The oblivious evil's armies had reached one of the Ash Spring tombs, but unfortunately they had forgotten Talia, who was indispensable to the motivation of the undead. I will destroy this land. and regain your honor. I am Isildur's heir. I mean, the deathly pale evil's messenger. Fight for me and I will consider your oath fulfilled. An oath that you never swore. Excuse me, I seem to have mixed a few things up. Um, splendid speech. Uh but good enough for the mindless hordes buried here, who excitedly signaled their approval, even if it was with nothing more than a moaned. And so, the walking dead arose to serve the abominable evil. And of course, the eloquent envoy with the spit personality. Hey! I can hear you! I certainly hope so. I don't want to just waste my time. We'll talk later. Go. Oh. Undead. Destroy the living. Everything good must die.
One of your islands of evilness is under attack. And again, the brain-hungry zombies rose against the human defenses. What are you doing, you deadbeats? Are you seriously going to let a few old corpses get the better of you? Take care of this, baby. Before I kick your asses so hard, you fly all the way to Stormbreeze, where you can tell Thanos personally what a bunch of God's damn cowards you really are. the evil. I am the evil. What do you want me to do? There are enemies in your dungeon. Born babies and work faster and cry less than you lazy dogs. Thanos must die. the monstrous evil and with a spirited if mooned brains staggered off towards the human defenders the glorious hey that's my text you don't even appear in this dialogue at all your problem for taking such a long siggy break i'll take over your job in the long run that's something we can both agree on are your two personalities conspiring against me huh. As an orator, I am unsurpassed. If you heard the stories I tell in the bar on weekends... Hmm, forget about that. Additional undead have been secured for the insidious evil. Suddenly, a few dissatisfied bears appeared directly in front of Talia. Exactly, bears. And they attacked. Hey! This had nothing to do with a certain narrator's injured pride, but made total sense within the framework of the story. And the living dead rose! Defend. 
defend the dungeon hot. What can I do for you? to leave you now because I have to prepare something back home. It, but you hold the fort here. Got it? Good. Then take care of them. With these heroic words, grimly the great dwarf king took to his heels and ran. Some might think it cowardly. Yes, the damn coward. But we'll get him and then we'll organize an intervention. We'll tear him a new one. My goodness. What a turn of phrase! Outrageous! Still, it was a desire I can only agree with. Come on, for the validation craving evil! Hasta la vista, baby! I mean, zombies, I mean undead, but whatever. Rise! And the good people's defensive camp went up in flames. The pitiful survivors ran in panic and dispersed in all directions. Ha! Those cowards! See how they run! Is that funny? It does have something comical about it. Even the zombies emitted a laughing moan before pushing on to get some tasty brains before the others did. his head. Everything good must die.